Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. Today we're going to look at a meditative psalm. A meditative psalm is exactly what it sounds like. It is a psalm where the psalmist meditated, he pondered, he dwelled upon a few small things or a, a few specific things and, and, and pulls a lot of truth from them. You know, there are some things that when you really mull it over for a while are, are more impressive the, the deeper you think about it. In this psalm, there are two things that are meditated on. One is the creation itself. Here is God, and his, He speaks to us from His creation that He is great, and that He is powerful, and He is creative, and, and that He is uh, thoughtful and wise. And, and so the psalmist here thinks about just the universe in general and how it speaks of God. It's very similar to Romans chapter 1, down in verse 20, where it says that the invisible attributes of God are clearly seen in the creation. And then from about verse 7 down, uh, the second thing he ponders is God's law. If the creation speaks generally to God's greatness, the law, the words of, of the Old Testament, uh, and, and all that God had told the Jews about himself, specifically speak of his greatness and his wisdom and his might. And so as you ponder on the law, you, you see God's character there, and it feeds our soul, and it restores us to pathways of righteousness. It helps us to, to be the kind of people we ought to be, because you know not just that God is great and that God is wise, but exactly what he would have us to be in his wisdom. And so the, the, the psalmist meditates on both the large scale of God's creative power and then the specific language found in his law of his wisdom. And then the psalmist finishes up by saying, God, keep me from taking these things for granted. Keep me from presumptuous sins. To presume on something is to, to take it for granted. So God, don't let me sin by, by taking for granted what God greatness there is in you and what great things you've given me. Don't let me be ruled by a life where I neglect such wonderful and powerful things. Instead, let me rejoice in my Maker who has such power and might that he would create me and then tell me all about it in his law. That's your daily cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.